All right, let's continue our discussion on watershed delineation. Now, in the last video, we looked over a topography map, and when we delineate a watershed, we need to be able to identify ridges and valleys. And there's, there's two ways of doing it. Um, first is you can pretend you're a little water droplet um, on a topography map, and using the lines as your guide, figure out which way the water drop is going to go and that'll tell you if it's a ridge or valley. The second one is a cross-section method where you draw a line across several uh, topography lines and from there reading the different elevations you can identify whether something is a ridge or a valley. Now that probably made no sense to you so let's do a couple examples and hopefully that'll uh, I, I can teach you how to identify ridges and valleys very very easily so let's do this first example pretend you had some topography lines like this okay and I'm gonna say that this outside line is 300 uh, this one is 280 and this one is 260 okay is this a ridge or a valley well the first way um, is well I guess the first way we can use uh, the water droplet method right so let's pretend it was raining and it only rained one water droplet that is very very weird and it landed right here now this water droplet um, is going to be pulled down by gravity so obviously this water droplet is not going to go up in elevations it's only going to go down in elevation so since it, this water droplet is closest to the 300 elevation line and the next line is a 280 line, we know that the, uh, uh, there's a slope from here to here and it's going down. So this water droplet is going to go down this way, right, to the second line. And the second line is at an elevation of 280 and this third line down here is at an elevation of 260. So this water droplet is just going to follow this these elevation lines going down in elevation right it's just gonna roll down this this slope and since these lines are getting uh, smaller or lower in elevation um, this this is a valley right a valley why do we know that because if there was a water droplet here the water droplet is going inward right inward it's going from the higher elevation into the lower elevation so this is a valley and this is kind of the proper notation we use to um, identify uh, rivers or tributaries or streams as line dot 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 line dot dot line dot line whatever so let's do another example so let's say you had this all right and this was at an elevation of 300, this was at 290, this was at 280. Is this a ridge or a valley? Well, let's use the water droplet method. If I put a water droplet right here, water droplet always goes down um, from the higher elevation line to the lowest elevation line. So this elevation it's closest to is 300, and the next one is 290, and then it's 280. So this there's a slope and it's going down this way so the water droplet is going to go this way right if the water droplet was here it's going to go this way if the water droplet was here it's going to go this way so this identifies that that means this 300 is the largest um, um, elevation and the next one is 290 and it's 280 so therefore this is a ridge right so there's actually um, when we identify a ridge uh, this is the line we draw and I'm gonna draw it in it's usually in black but let's let's just do it in white so this ridge starts here this is the uh, the, the, the highest elevation the tip of the ridge um, or yeah the top of the ridge and we usually uh, go perpendicular to these lines here perpendicular to these lines here under a little perpendicular sign 
this denotes a ridge. Okay. Uh, let's do two more examples, and we'll use the cross section method. Um, so let's pretend you had uh, this thing right here. Okay, and let's see. This this was at an elevation of 300. This was 290. This was 280. If I were to draw a straight line, let's say from here to here, and I looked at this line, I looked at this line, let me draw this line here, and I said, okay, this is the y-axis and that represents uh, elevation, okay? So if I were to draw this line, there's this line crosses six points, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I were to draw those points here, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So this first point right here is at an elevation of 300 because this 300 is this line right here, right? So uh, let's just say that is 300. Actually, I'll do it in red. This is 300, okay? The second point right here is at, is at an elevation of 290, which is here. This third point is at an elevation of 280, which is down here. This fourth point is at an elevation of 280. This fifth point is at an elevation of 290. And the sixth point is at an elevation of 300. So you can clearly see from the cross section that this is a valley. Hey, it's a valley. This is a valley. Um, so that's the cross section method. Um, let's do one up here. If we had, uh, let's see, this thing. And we had a point here. Let's say this was um, 200, 300, this line was 400. And usually high points are uh, denoted with a little x, and they'll have an elevation number next to it. Well, we can do the same thing. We can draw a line, and it's going to cross six points. Point one, oops. Point one, point two, point three, point four, point five. You know what? I think I missed a point. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Yeah, I was wondering why there was only five points. All right, and this was elevation. So this first point right here is at uh, 200. So I'm gonna draw 200 right there. This next point is at 300. I'm gonna draw 300 right there. This next one is at 400. I'm gonna draw an ele a point right here. And then we have an elevation of 412 between these two points, right? And then this fourth point is at an elevation of 400. This fifth point is at an elevation of 300. This last point is at an elevation of 200. So this is obviously not a valley, it's a ridge. And here's the top point of that ridge. So those were a couple examples on how to identify a ridge in a valley. Um, and we use two different methods. We use the water droplet method and we use the cross-section method. All right, I'll see you in the next video.